Thousands of Haitian families have been living in camps for more than 12 months now. We've been building a tea shelters, temporary shelters, uh, which provide people with much better uh, living conditions. What we have to remember is that in the camps the situation is really dire. The hygienic circumstances are very bad. Ever since cholera broke out in Haiti, we've been trying to work even harder to reach people with safe drinking water and with hygiene facilities. The programming we have has migrated from emergency to recovery. Since then, it's basically been building hygiene facilities, including latrines in camps, hand washing facilities, as well as hygiene promotion. The most important aspect of hygiene promotion is to reach as many people as we can. One of our key tasks was to distribute what we call hygiene promotion non-food items. The pamphlets tell people basic messages on what to do to prevent cholera. For example, washing your hands with soap, making sure that you always drink uh, clean water, and more importantly, what to do if you have a case of cholera in the house. We have a program we call the Train the Trainer program. Care starts by training its own staff. Then the teams are going to train volunteers. The volunteers will then train the broader community to make sure that the message reaches out to as many people as possible. A major concern for us has always been the situation for women. They are the ones that are particularly vulnerable in emergencies. We set up latrines which are separated, men and women. So women have a chance to go there and be secure from attacks. We are also working together with mothers clubs and with the local committees to talk about gender-based violence, how to protect women and especially young girls. Right now there's an important need for the Haitian population to keep receiving assistance from the international community, but the objective in the longer term is to empower them so they can do what needs to be done themselves. No one can understand what we've gone through if you don't live it. We start realizing that we are not alone. We saw that the word is with us.